back to track we'll continue up right here with a matchup between water blue and orange swirl well so far this season both of these marbles have struggled water blue went four seven and one in the timed race and was pretty close to getting last place orange swirl was in the maze race this year and he did get last place and it was two and eight and not only did he get last place he was in last place for every single round going into the final round and he ended up capturing last place of the whole tournament in the end but anyway both of these marbles looking to have a bounce back back to track right here they're both gonna need it because if one of these two marbles wouldn't be thinking season championship series they got some work to do in this year's back to track but anyway let's see what happens in this game right now here we go let's begin this back to track game up all right so the dice has decided that we will start in the timed race and second will be the maze race and third will be the balance jump the dice rolled a five but anyway water blue on the first try in this time race it's a 42 not what water blue would have wanted there but anyway orange swirl having a good chance to rack up some points and not looking like he's gonna get very many it's 39 and that'll be two points for orange swirl now it's two to nothing and orange swirl on the second try not a good second try either but it's better than the first a 37 for orange swirl but anyway water blue let's see if he can rack up some points and it's gonna be close right here it's a 38 and it was close but it was a one point margin that will give one point to orange swirl and now orange swirl leads this back track game three to nothing going into this maze race but anyway water blue has taken the one to nothing lead in this maze race as of right now but anyway orange swirl has taken the second point and now the maze race is tied up at one. Third point underway it's water blue and he will take the third point and now water blue has the two to one lead in this maze race and let's see what happens on this fourth point look like water blue if he wins his fourth point he'll take the lead in this back to track game and he's gonna do that it's a four to three lead for water blue and now let's see what happens in this balance jump water blue on the first try gets nothing that'll give orange swirl an opportunity right here orange swirl has won a championship in this balance jump but anyway let's see what orange swirl can do on this first try he gets zero as well so the score is going to remain four to three well i must say orange swirl has not been any good in this balance jump ever since he won the championship last year hasn't really been good at anything since he won that championship but a 20 for orange swirl on the second try and as for water blue he needs a 20 or better to win this game let's see what he can get and this is going to be zero for water blue on the second try just not a good balance jump marble and water blue has lost this game and now orange swirl with the five to four victory over water blue so orange swirl does take the one and no start in this back track tournament well i must say this was not a good game at all not a good performance by either one of these marbles so both of these marbles will need to pick up the pace now orange swirl he did get the victory right here so i guess he'll take it but he has got to clean up clean up his act if he plays like this throughout the rest of the tournament he is not going to be a threat in any way shape or form and same goes with water blue but he's got some more work to do considering that he is now 0-1 water blue does have a game against hills water and lava in round two so there's his chance to bounce back from this one but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this i will see y'all later for some more games coming up